guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Jeanette I'm a fashion and lifestyle content creator here on YouTube and I'm gonna do a reaction video this is I generally react if you're familiar with my style and my kind of videos so if you're new if you're new to following me or seeing me on YouTube on TV or YouTube before I react to fashion now I've got my own personal style it's very different obviously I'm very glad and it's very different to what today is in today's world and um, that's one of the reasons why I like styling and fashion and everything like that and stuff and personal style and I'm very happy that people have their own styles opposed to everyone following what everyone else is doing so um, I generally react to things that are on YouTube or anything really and you know give my own little personal opinion it might not be the most popular but generally is <laughs> um, but today I'm going to do a reaction to the newest Women's Weekly which is the Icons edition because it's obviously got my icon at the back more of a Japan and Kogashi now I love that vintage glam real classy classic being classic pieces yep you can wear it to work and going out and dress them up add a bit of glam towards your everyday outfit you know give you that extra special you know special outlook in the world and do outfit. So um, yeah, I'm always about styles, instant language. What's the first thing that people see when they say yeah, your outfit? So anyway, <laughs> um, I've been. If you don't know, I've been content creating for about six years, and yeah, I've had a blog. I had Instagram. Still got Instagram. I've got um, TikTok now. Also on YouTube. So love for you to subscribe before we go any further. Give this video a big like. And anyway, I'm gonna react to this, but I'm gonna videotape it as I'm reacting because it's obviously not online. It's a hard copy. So, yeah, let's get into it. Don't forget to get yourself a cuppa. I've got myself coffee. Coffee. This little ball. I used to watch it every morning with my dad and mom, most of my dad. Um, watching, like, um, she's been, I love Lucy. Very funny. But she had a lot of dark memories. Um, like memories, dark moments, and she used to not like show it on screen, which is one of the reasons why she was so iconic. Like, you would never think she had problems, and she just get the job done, and that's what I loved better. Um, a fellow told me to do this, she said, I've got the latest Women's Weekly, here you go, tell me what you think, but do a reaction video. So, here we are. Um, obviously, some iconic Mel Monroe, look at that. So gorgeous. I don't know how long this video is going to be, so yeah, bear with me. Boom, ladies. I love her outfit, and I think that's Lynn one. No, Leslie and Jean shirt on there. It was closet with Lynn one. But anyway. And I love the vintage um, photos that they took back then. Or was they, they weren't like the best quality, but they certainly look good. Stunning. I love black and white photos. Also, ball. Look at that. So, ball again. I think she was only, the only redhead back then. Um, I believe that was popular so yeah she, she was really funny. She was really funny especially with her husband. But once we had husband I'm not sure if it's off screen. I can't remember. But um, yeah. I love and I, the reason why I love this vintage style is because obviously it's classic class and everything but look at the way they had their bathing suits. I mean I would love to get some of that. Like back then that would have been not so pricey but they stay in age. You could find anything like that. That would actually suit someone that's got a bit of tummy like myself. Um, I do have a big front, like big boobs, big midriff. I, I try my best to keep healthy, but I mean, come on, life's short. <laughs> um, yeah, but something like that, like kind of distract from the stomach. So I actually really like that. So, ball again, similar to what I'm wearing now. This is not real, this is fake, okay? Stunning. She did a lot of funny moments. That was my favourite. <laughs> Drink. 
Crawford, Harry Astor, Dolores Costello, Dolores Delario, Janet Gaynor, Faye Ray. That rhymed. <laughs> Scandals and tragedy. Now there's a lot of conspiracy th conspiracy theories when it came to the Wizard of Oz. When they're running down the rail, the Olympic road, you'll see someone hanging from a rope in the distance. You gotta really see. But if, if that triggers you, do not watch it. But if it doesn't, then well means. But she had a lot of heat stories as well. The lady that paid Dorothy. I just like that she did the shoes thing. That was like the iconic thing. I mean, it's like the most silliest of movies. Doesn't make sense. But, yeah. Angel of Innocence, Cora, Sue Collins. Oh, she's beautiful, look at that. Is any? I used to watch Annie too when I was younger. I'm definitely gonna read this once off, off the camera. So yeah. Wow, there's gonna be some meta mysteries in this. Oh my god. a few songs but like nothing like I listen to every day but damn he was handsome he's cute too hello <laughs> I'm not here to I swear my mum wrote can we go any further it was the best thing that ever happened to me I never felt like a star before in my, in my heart it was so wonderful to look down and see a fellow smiling at me look at that Classy, elegant, like that was would have been like she was a blonde bombshell. I mean, come on, that would have been amazing to be there. One, two, but just think, that is open for them. Then you show ankles though. They had that, that mystery towards them, and I love that. If now there's no mystery, it's all out there. I mean, I'm not judging, but you know, maybe change down a bit. Um, Drinking my smoothies. This Patella. I really loved Audrey Hepburn. That was my like favorite. Um, I love. She was not my style, like not my body shape at all. But yeah, just I loved. You don't have to have the same body shape to be able to relate to someone. I think her personality was very similar to mine. Um, no, knew what to say, when to say it, how to say it, but still had a bit of mystery again towards her class when it comes to her handling certain situations. Like we've all been in a certain situation where we're not comfortable, we're not something that has pushed us out of our boundaries. But yeah, she handles it like a, like a lady, and still like a boss, you know. Back to the to the magazine ahead. What's her name? Shelley McLean, I think her name is. Yeah, Shelley McLean. She played Coco Chanel in the movie too. If I can find that, I'll link it down below. That's probably my favourite Coco Chanel, if you want to see my style, iconic thing. Um, 
she was more my favourite, so if you want to see that, I'll link it up with you. Um, he played a movie with um, the one on the left, I'm going to point to He played a movie with um, Audrey Hepburn, um, it's called The Unforgiven. I'll put that in the description box as well, check them out. Again, they played really good acting back then. Sometimes you'd be like, eh, but you know, it was different. It's a different time. Okay, let's see. <gasps> Folks, can I try now? If I, if I get married, if I ever get married, he's gonna be playing in the background for my songs. I just love that class, you know, especially his voice, soothing, you know. And Dean Martin. Oh, Dean Martin. Oh my god. Suave. Look at him. He was a good actor too, but definitely the voice. Which um, And I love this kind of look. Um, the pants and like the shirt. It's that slim line look. Um, again, I'm not the slimmest person in the world, but I mean, it's easy to pull together and it's kind of that vintage look. Hair in the bun, nice red lipstick. Perfect. Oh, I forgot his name. He played with Audrey Ben too, so she played with a lot of famous actors at that time. Where the Franklin? No, Ella. Oops. Flip a little bit. Look at that. She was also an icon for me. Um, she did one movie in particular, I forgot her name. Um, yeah, Laura Bacall. She did a movie in particular where she was a fashion designer and she wore the most insane dresses. Again, beautiful, just classic, classy, timeless pieces. Um, yeah. Mel Monroe. Um, which one's this one? Make it, make it up as you go, uh, um, which is Betty Grable and Marlon Monroe. Touch up in How to Marry a Millionaire. It's not quite an iconic movie. The original supermodel of Varushka, she has been called the most beautiful woman in the world and graced more than 800 magazine covers. But the German model, Seth Amish, was known by just a single name, but had a dark and troubled past. Most of them did have a troubled past and troubled present. Um, they just didn't show it. This is coming towards modern day, and I mean modern day, not now. <laughs> Colour, Pierre Cardinier. This was. This. I was inspired by satellites, but later to the men I looked into the future. I was never inspired by a woman's body. My dresses are unlike sculptures. I molded them and then I put a woman into them. It was more like architecture or art. Who was that? Pierre, probably Pierre Cardin. I wish they showed Jelanchi in this, that would be so good. Look at that 1920s style. It's gorgeous. Another movie that's really 1920s inspired, based on the true story, Angelina Jolie played a mother, um, Changeling. It's another good movie, so if you want to be more inspired by vintage, I suggest you go check that out too. 1930s, 40s, oh, no, no. Um, eventually when I add a bit more um, paintings into my room, um, 
if you watch my vlogs, you'll know I'm really into home in, in spoke and I like the vintage look. So I'll be incorporating that a bit more. At the moment, it's just plain. So I'm going to change that a little bit. But yeah, that's not much Audrey, but obviously, you know, I love it. What do you guys think? That was an amazing array of inspo in that, in that book. So if you want to go check it out, I'll put the name of it in the description box below. And anything else, you can put the lipstick I'm wearing and the fake. Obviously, it's similar to this. It's down below for you to go shop it if you like. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a, give it a like. Leave a nice comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. I'd love to see you back here again. I'd love to see, I want to grow this channel, I really want to um, all come follow me on my Instagram, which is Elegance of She, TikTok, Elegance of She, all my channel. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.